This is a chest x-ray of a 40-year-old male who has presented to our department with history of fever and cough. We can see firstly a soft tissue density shadow seen in the right paratracheal region. This is likely to represent a paratracheal lymph node. If we look at the paratracheal soft tissue shadow very carefully, we can see that it is getting limited at the upper border of the clavicle. In fact, the upper part of this lesion ends at the clavicle. So this is actually a variation of the silhouette sign known as the cervicothoracic sign. And it helps us to localize the mass whether it is in the anterior or posterior mediastinum based on the PHS x-ray. So if a lesion is seen like in this case limited by the clavicle and not extending beyond the clavicle, it means that it happens to be in the anterior mediastinum and is usually a lymph node. However, if that lesion crosses the clavicle, and moves upwards towards the neck that means it belongs to uh, the posterior part of the chest be it the upper lobe posteriorly or a pleural lesion posteriorly or in fact a posterior mediastinal mass lesion. There might be many conditions but the commonest one that fits this is tuberculosis. So we do the next best thing we run a CT scan and we start first with uh, the HRCT pictures because we would like to have a good look at the lung parenchyma. We also see over here in the right upper zone, presence of infiltrates as well as uh, tree and bud appearance. Tree and bud appearance, of course, is not classical for tuberculosis. You can see it in a host of other conditions. But in our radiological setting, uh, this will fit in with the uh, finding of uh, tuberculous lesions. We then move on to the mediastinal window because we would like to obviously see the characteristics of this node. And uh, what we see here is uh, directly a contrast study. And on this contrast study, we can see very clearly uh, right paratracheal nodes. In fact, there are nodes seen in uh, the right hilum as well as uh, in the subcarinal region. These nodes have a very characteristic pattern. As you can see, um, they're not homogeneous. In fact, they are inhomogeneous. And they're small cystic areas uh, which represent necrosis or more specifically caseation necrosis. You can also see peripheral enhancement pattern in uh, these nodes. On the coronal windows also we see a similar picture we can just see the nodes very fairly outlined uh, here next to the tracheal shadow on the right side along with that we can see also hyalur nodes as well as the subcarinal nodes so our final diagnosis again we see pulmonary infiltrates we see tree and bud appearance and paratracheal nodes so these fit in with uh, just one single working diagnosis which is uh, tuberculosis Causes of lymphadenopathy, there are several causes of lymphadenopathy as uh, noted in literature. There could be malignancy with lymphomas and even in leukemias. Besides tuberculous infection, you can have streptococcal infections or even chicken pox in an acute stage can throw up uh, mediastinal nodes. HIV patients and other autoimmune conditions as well as certain drugs can also give rise to this condition. And we can also of course never forget sarcoidosis. But uh, Amongst these few conditions that we need to differentiate and diagnose are tuberculosis, lymphoma, sarcoidosis and metastasis. And of these, it is only tuberculosis that gives rise to a very specific pattern of enhancement. It gives rise to an inhomogeneous pattern of enhancement with peripheral enhancement as well as central caseation necrosis because of uh, destruction of the lymph node at its central aspect. Compared to that, if we see this comparative uh, picture we see lymphoma to our left and tuberculosis to our right and we see lymphoma nodes uh, show minimal enhancement on contrast but are usually homogeneously solid in almost all the cases especially those that are being initially diagnosed so to conclude whenever we see paratracheal nodes on a chest x-ray or even higher lymph nodes our differential diagnosis should narrow down to tuberculosis lymphoma sarcoidosis or metastasis yes there could be other causes but these are the four working diagnoses you should be uh, looking at. You look at other signs of tuberculosis on the chest x-ray and the best possible way to differentiate and diagnose this condition is by doing a CT scan where we see the classic caseating lymphadenopathy as seen in this picture.